Good morning. Across the millennia, our species evolved using tools to make sense of our world and to share our experience across time and space. We have drawn on the walls of caves, we have built celestial temples, traveled beyond the edges of the solar system, and imaged the edges of the, visual, of the known universe. We seek to unravel the mysteries of subatomic particles. We create tools to expand our experience of the world, of science, of art, of music, emotion, and intimacy. We are curious animals. We explore, we discover, and we dream. I am here today to invite you to join me on a journey, on a journey across time and space into the future, exploring what might be possible, exploring our dreams, our experiences. Your curiosity and your discovery will drive this journey. We are creating a new type of supercomputer, an experiential supercomputer, which like CERN has the power to uncover fundamental truths about our universe, about ourselves, our interactions with our reality, our infinite reality. It has the potential to expand our experience across the vast spectrums of new and possible worlds. As so many tools have before, this new instrument will help shape the evolution of our society, empowering us with the resources and collaborative expertise needed to tackle our grand challenges. I am here today to announce that we have received the National Science Foundation's only large-scale major research instrument award in computer and information science and engineering for 2016. With this award, we will create an experiential supercomputer, a transdisciplinary holodeck for research, education, and innovation. Imagine a biochemist working with a social robot, collaborating to create new forms of synthetic life. Robotic arms print a DNA helix, while remote musicians play scales on an emerging bass pair xylophone, adding transdisciplinary perspective to the evolution of future life. In building the holodeck, we are fusing a diverse array of emerging technologies and modalities into a single, well-integrated instrument. We have the visual, immersive projection, augmented reality, and virtual reality. In the audio realm, we have high-end studios, speaker arrays, and binaural headsets. In the physical realm, we have gesture and haptic feedback, physical fabrication with 3D printing, providing rapid prototypes in near real time. Beyond these, we have the human dynamic, the brain-computer interaction, the eye tracking, the physiological sensing, the heart rate, respiration to assess affect and cognitive load, the states of flow and stuck. Once we have human dynamics, we can build on this to create social dynamics across multiple individuals, virtual characters, and social robots in co-located and distributed teams across multiple nodes of the holodeck spanning our world. We are leveraging robust infrastructure, 5G wireless, IBM Watson, expert systems, and the wisdom of crowds to imagine what is possible, not only today, but towards involving and solving the problems we face moving forward, the grand challenges of our society. Creating the holodeck is a lot like discovering the full power of a kitchen. Once you have the stove, sink, and refrigerators, the knives, pots, and pans, all the specialized measuring tools and access to the ingredients, you can cook a diverse array of amazing meals and host wonderful experiences. The holodeck, like the kitchen, draws its strength from the integration of all of these parts. Today, we have specialists working on computing infrastructure on data storage, on heads-up displays, and on affective computing. But we have not yet built a single kitchen to integrate all of these tools. We do not know where to put the pots and pans, or where the central workflow triangle of the kitchen will evolve. As we advance the holodeck and make these connections, a new picture of innovation and the future will emerge. Beyond the biochemist, social robot, and musician, imagine thousands of learners of all ages in their schools, homes, science centers, and universities using the holodeck tools to teach a robot geometry, explore the surface of Mars, collaborate to perform in music ensembles, and create assistive technologies. These are just a few of the, of the experiences we are embarking on today at the beginning of the holodeck mission. We are collaborating with the NASA JPL on-site team and the Microsoft HoloLens teams to put geologists on the surface of Mars virtually. 
Geologists work best in natural field settings where they can decide which rocks to explore. By putting individuals with this level of expertise on the surface of another planet virtually, we are generating new understanding of how human robot teams can access and work together across time and space to collaborate and explore our solar system. For the child of the 21st century, computer technology has become integral to learning. The one device, one learner paradigm of today is evolving into a collaborative activity, providing embodied and tangible interactions with teachable learning companions, robotic agents like Quinn here, to foster collaborative knowledge building and active student-centered learning. In the realm of acoustics, creators from around the world can perform ensembles together, collaborating between New York, Shanghai, and Abu Dhabi. As they explore how to keep pace with one another, the audience's emotional experience can be sensed and displayed back to the performers to enhance their expression of creativity. And leveraging the holodeck and the Fab Lab makerspaces around the world can empower open source collectives to collaborate and create personalized prosthetics and life-saving technologies. With Design That Matters, we have created low-cost infant incubators made out of car parts. The NYUX holodeck team that I lead here in New York City is one of innovators. Our investigative team spans the holodeck modalities, the visual, the audio, the physical, the haptic, the human dynamic, the social dynamic, and the infrastructure required to create this experiential supercomputer. We have assembled a world-class advisory board, and we have a rich array of academic partners. These partners come from the universities around the world and around the nation. And we have an initial set of industry partners, which we would invite you to become a part of. I invite you for a moment to close your eyes and think deeply about what the holodeck means to you and what you can do with the holodeck. What having this instrument, this exploration of virtual reality, augmented reality, infinite reality, makes possible. How do you explore infinite reality? The reality that all your experiences, that all you've ever believed or thought possible is constructed by you via your senses, your perception. Like Plato's shadows on the walls of the cave, as we think about those shadows and explore our nature and better understand our multifaceted world, what questions will you ask? Will you ask, what is the fractal nature of dance? Or can I make synthetic life? When the walls have answers, the people that learn the most are those that collaborate and ask the best series of questions. What are the questions that you will ask? What will you ask in the holodeck? What will you ask of the holodeck? Come join us as we journey into the future of a new infinite reality with the holodeck. Someone backstage whispered, holy shit. Uh, how much money is this from the National Science Foundation over what period? Right, so it's a grant in which we get 2.8 million for a five-year grant and it's matched by NYU at 1.2 million. We are then using that as the initial starting point to look for collaborations and partnerships, commercial activity that will grow this into a much larger endeavor. So you start out with about $5 million to build a holodeck here in New York City. Yep, four to five, looking awesome. at growing that significantly with everyone's help. Okay, get out. And we want everybody, not only for the money, but all, for all the collaboration and ideas. We can't do this without you. It's an open initiative uh, across the Media Lab and uh, across the city and the, the nation. So thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.